All right, welcome back, folks. We're in here for another episode of the Duck Call Room. Look, if you're tuning in on YouTube, we thank you. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this Bing. video. So, I don't think it makes that noise, but it well, is a cute little bell. Well, the notification bell does. Does it? It does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, my phone's never been on anything other than vibrate, so I don't really know what sound it makes. Yours goes. <laughs> And if you're listening on a podcast app, if you want to see all the annex, go ahead and head over to our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash duck call room. Uh, here before long, instead of cross posting to the Duck Commander channel, the Duck Call Room channel will be the only place you can see our podcast. And that is once again, youtube.com slash duck call room. All right. Before we get started, fans, you keep sending stuff in and... <laughs> I'm just going to keep thanking you. So, Mike from Idaho, you sent in some far candy. It was... Uh, we got some Idaho Key word being was. If he was from Idaho, <laughs> he should have sent us some potatoes. Potato. Well, one of them. Uh, uh, Mart, hold that thought. Mart and Kim sent us some Idaho spuds. Hey, there you go. But the funny thing about an Idaho spud is there's not a potato involved. It is uh, chocolate wrapped around a marshmallow with coconut all over it. I loved it. It now, was coconut's good. I'll get you one on our first break because that thing's good. If you like coconut, that thing's good. Oh no, I need to buy me some of that instead of dip like y'all dip all that snuff junk. I just dip me a bunch of coconut. Just. That's all what right. you need, well, something well, to make you that, nuttier. Now that's a dip, fair boys. A coconut? Just, just freshly Could you imagine grated the coconut. sugar high, uh, with a sugar high? Oh, that's right. what he needs. No, that's you why need what everybody said, high. you drinking that sweet tea? And I said, no, I don't ever need to drink sweet tea. Boy. Hey, I'd be bouncing off the wall, boy. You'd be <laughs> climbing trees. Hey, I do that anyway. You ain't climbed a tree. <laughs> when was the last time you climbed a tree? Hey, look, don't about that. <laughs> One no, my, wait. Hey, no, no. One of my uncles was 84, and a limb broke and was laying on top of his roof. And next thing happened, he's up there trying to get it off. And his wife's always telling me, hey, you're going to you, kill yourself, old man. That wasn't Uncle FM, was it? No. No, no he's too mean. No, he didn't make it to No, that wasn't, that wasn't FM. Uh, it wasn't no. a hell. It was a Robertson. Oh, I got you. Al Robertson. Well, before we get too far, I want to continue to thank everybody. Bayside Bev, that was what was on the return address. I don't know if Bayside Bev, Bayside. I don't know if that's your real name or if that's Bayside. like your username. Alias, alias. But uh, you, thank you for the 10,000 calories worth of Little Debbie's you sent. So um, much Little Debbie's. And it was a variety pack. So mm -hmm. I do thank you. The zebra cakes, in fact, made it to my house. Uh -oh, so the zebra um, cake. I'm a sucker for a zebra. My cake. office is like a pantry now. Yeah. And Dan from Pennsylvania hooked us up with those tasty cakes. What were they? Uh, it's, he's, it's a Pennsylvania special. It's the butterscotch. Butterscotch one. crimpets. Yeah, crimpets or something. It's, it's, it's what Pennsylvania crimpets. people think Little Debbie should be. Well, guess yeah. what? Y'all said something, and then <laughs> mom and dad was mad scientists in the kitchen so they come up with some butterscotch ice cream that mm. they made homemade your mom and dad oh yeah they're cranking it right well uh, i guess me and phil were cranking it but anyway <laughs> they made it okay and some all right everybody come get them bo i looked at it i didn't even like the looks of it so i just took a little bite no spit that mess out they all laid a bowl it made them six to a dog what hey. was in it oh hey i don't know but it was a bad batch Really? Wait, like, I had do to not try butterscotch ice cream. It ain't that no good. That story went the exact opposite way. Yeah. Well, hey, I'm just telling you. Good Mom stuff and Dad. Hey, this was bad. They I mean, sad. real bad. It made the whole family sick. I didn't eat on it. I spit it out. Well, no good. You weren't sick, though, huh? No. I didn't, I didn't swallow it. I just tasted it and said, I'm going to have to junk. I'm going to have to blame that one on the churner. I don't, I, no, it wasn't the Turner. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was just bad mom and dad making uh, mad scientist stuff, and it didn't turn out no good. So perhaps that milk had done sired on you. I, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't no good. Huh. I mean, it literally made everybody that ate the bowl full, it made them sick as the dog. I will say, you know, we're here in the spring, but summer's coming, and, and I sure look forward to when Phil makes that homemade ice oh, cream. That, that man can churn some homemade ice cream. Right, Phil he, makes ice cream? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's news to me. Well, yeah, you've oh, yeah. always worked up here. You yeah, never worked right. down at the house. Yeah, you yeah. never did work down there where we got the goodies. That's where yeah. all the vittles, where the Duck Commander 50 yeah, come that's from. Right. I didn't hey, get all that. That's why yeah. these boys are as big as they are. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, weighed hey. 
I weighed a buck that? 75 when I started working here. <laughs> How long you been hey, here, guy? You can add, a, you can add about a buck 50 more. <laughs> How long? Yeah, I know. Okay. Crank it all hey. up. Well, that's what I said. It's usually we called it the, the Duck Commander 50, but in my case, it's a Duck Commander Hondo. One. That's right. Uh, Hondo. Well, you always have been an overachiever, guy. So yeah. that, you know, that doesn't surprise me. But look, I mean, what they don't realize is when we were down there, like when Kay hollered over that phone, it's lunchtime. That like, means it's lunchtime. Yeah. It was you a stampede. Dude. You stop whatever <laughs> you're doing. It was a stampede. And yeah. go eat. And then she'd feed you something. So my problem was I'd have to hit it again. I like I couldn't just oh, go. We always more. went back. Uh, yeah. You know, I was trying to figure out how Phil and Cy si stayed like they did. Oh, no, but, no. But Kay. they were smart. They, they'd they make one plate, and they knew better to hit it again. They just went to sleep. Oh, Kay's been trying to fatten me up ever since I, I went on their first date with them. And it just ain't – it ain't it, it ain't it ain't happening. My metabolism, you know. But it's finally catching up. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, it's getting son. there, baby. That yeah. was that black walnut ice hey, cream, Twinkie. It took her Old 70 age. years, yeah. but she Old got Old age. You. Takes everything down. Oh. Hey, hey, I'm telling you. <laughs> everything, huh? Everything. Mm. Hey. I love it. That's Hair falling out, teeth falling out, belly's getting bigger. Yeah, I love just, it. It's a tough it's a tough. Oh, you're just a mess, out. Si. You're hey, just a mess. It's a tough go, boys. Well, you know, I'll, I I feel you, you know. I'm, when hey. I first showed up here, Phil looked at me and said, now, just how old are you? I told him, well, I'm, I'm 25. <laughs> and he said, Time has not been kind right. to you. That's right. That's I, I will yeah. say, I did not know your first name or your age for uh, quite a few years. Yeah, there's still a lot big of people head. that don't know. Horse head. Horse head. Horse head, Horse head big head. head. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah, shocked to find that. out your name was, was yeah. Justin. Yeah. What's your What's your nickname there, J.D.? Me? From yeah. Phil? Yeah. Phil used to call me Owens because that's what he called my Uncle Mac when okay. they hunted together. Yeah. But now he just, since Willie calls me Johnny D., Phil calls me any name that ends in Y and then a letter. <laughs> Jimmy C. He's like, hey, Tommy B. I'm Tommy like, B, boy. <laughs> so Tommy C., Jimmy D. Yeah. I'm like, Phil, you've known me for 30 years. He's like, all right, hey, good good deal, Johnny Johnny B. That was like the closest he ever got. So hey, one, Johnny B. Good, boys. One of my favorite ones ever was uh, we were down there for Christmas. And <laughs> he looked at Jeff. <laughs> and he was trying to talk to Jessica, and he said he was just looking at her, and he just, you know, Jep's wife. And I'm yeah. like, they've been married for ten years yeah. at this point, and he he just yeah. feel and names not nope. something he's yeah. interested in. Nope. Just and that, grandkids come in, he's like, who's that? Yeah. Which one you belong to? <laughs> he says it's your grandchild. <laughs> he doesn't let people get well, too look, chummy. Well, look, you can't him. keep up with them. Uh, uh, there's hey. a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. So hey, no, you can't keep up. With them. You know our names at least. Uh, For the most part. Hey, hey I'm telling you. Names, no. Nah. <laughs> That's why Phil Phil's got a good deal, good system though. He don't have to say I remember your name. He just said, "Hey, you know, he gives you a name." Yeah, hey you. Yeah. Hey, hey, no leg. Hey, no leg. Oh <laughs> no, leg. No Get your camera, yeah. son. Let's go. Yeah, he, yeah. I, he gave me about seven of them. I don't. I guess now it's just Martin. But there, I had, I had a few of them. Buster Crab, Horsehead. Yeah. Buster Crab. Um, yeah. yeah. One day we'll call you Justin. <laughs> you, nah, that's nah. overrated. I ain't been called <laughs> no, Justin no. since about the no. since You're, I was about four. <laughs> like ever since I started playing sports, you were just whatever name was on the back of that jersey. That's what you got called by. So um, the man yeah. with two first names, three. My middle name's Lee. Well, go ahead. I just got them all. Just the got Lee Martin. All. I got. Well, I like careful it. now. Don't be giving out my no, no, hey, look. I'm about to I go like get it. on that score master no, no. bag. <laughs> hey, no, I like it. Just the Lee Martin. J L M boy. Yeah. J L M and Silas Merritt. That's right. And Merritt yeah. was who, Granny? That's that's Maul. Maul, yeah. And you didn't ever want to be with her. You never wanted to hear Silas Merritt Robertson. Ooh. Yeah, that's not good. first name, and she's pronouncing them with a little. Yeah, okay, you're in trouble. And we're yeah. surrounded by two John Davids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forget you, John David too. That's I just exactly right. kept the whole thing. John though. David Godwin, John Wayne, and David in the Bible. Uh oh, David in the Bible. Do you walk around with a slingshot all the time? Yeah. Heck yeah. Hey, we did. Is hey. that why you're bow legged? I'm serious. Might we be. did. <laughs> hey. 
You had a slingshot on oh, you? Oh, what are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, For what? Hey, we used to kill a lot of doves with them. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Oh, hey. That was back before well, there was hey, regulations. Well, here's the guy. Nobody told me that. Yeah. That's back hey. before there's oh, regulations. No, hey. We used to, yeah, we used to kill them. The best dove on that one on is I killed them with a twenty-two rifle <clears throat> off a of Highline. And on that note, we're now going that to... is de- illegal there. 1932. Uh, but hey, the, uh, the year, uh, if anybody's the, uh, wondering. Time of, uh, statute of limitations. Yeah, statute that's of limitations it. has run out. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're going to go with. That's and, what we're going with, and that's, what I'm, that's uh, my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, my story is, let's take our first break. We'll be right back after this. You're going to get us in trouble. We're going. Do you think people send us ice cream? Well, look, I can, I got you something to keep you from getting messed with. Mm-hmm. That we, the people, holster well, will keep your me. firearm from getting messed with. That means it's secured to you. They start at just $40. We, the people, holsters are custom molded to fit your exact firearm for a quick, smooth draw. That's important to you, ain't it, sir? Yes, you got to be quick. Yes, sir. You got to be quick. You got to be quick. They have thousands of options to choose from, plus a selection of custom printed holders, including the line with our partners over at Realtree and Realtree Camouflage. So... While you're there, check out their complete line of patriotic tees, tumblers, and new EDC tactical gun belt, which comes with a patented Cobra buckle. You know it's good if it's named after a snake, right? I mean, I mean, what else could it be? Every holster and gun belt comes with a lifetime guarantee. If it's not a perfect fit, send it back, and they'll refund you fully. So show your support for this great American company. Go to wethepeopleholsters.com slash duck right now and get an additional $10 off with the offer code duck. That's wethepeopleholsters.com slash duck. Wethepeopleholsters.com slash duck. You know what would be cool, though, Martin? What? If they would... The people that keep sending us snack cakes mm-hmm. and candy bars and they're all their favorite snacks send us ice cream. Ice cream. And I do like ice cream. It made me the happy. butterscotch ice cream thing got me thinking. All right, what's the favorite flavor? Of ice cream? Of ice cream. But that's impossible. Cookie dough. There's a Ducky cookie. dough. No, he cookie <laughs> dough. Oh, cookie dough. Cookie dough. Oh, <laughs> Godwin yeah. is a little hard to understand, yeah. but that's why I'm here. I come. I'm Godwin's yeah. closed uh, caption. Tra- yeah. Translator, boys. Yeah. I, I, there I is see a, it right here, right here. So use a cookie dough man. I like cookie dough. I go. With I guess just, when I guess when just, Paula cooks cooks cookies, you're in there eating the cookie dough, right? You better believe yeah. it. Oh, oh, I, now I in. am under yeah. the opinion that the worst thing you can do to a cookie is add heat. That's exactly. Well, right. I didn't know. Like, hey. You don't want to do that. Big old glass of milk. You get them <laughs> them logs of cookie dough. <laughs> yeah, you get them this pre cut. Big old glass of milk. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm say I'm trying to go green, son. But I'm saving frozen. energy. Right. Fro- <laughs> you got to freeze them first. Oh. Man. So the worst thing you can do to a cookie is cook it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't add no oh, heat yeah. to All it. Right. Just eat. Just eat it. Yes. Y'all gonna get salmonella. Hey, no, no. Uh, that's why he looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Oh, boy. Woohoo. Okay. <laughs> both of them. Hey, it, hey. Ain't, it ain't easy. Hey, both of you look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Hey, careful. Do that. Careful there, Tubby. Hey, hey. hey, look. Look at you, son. <laughs> well, I'm getting there. You look like the hey. Pillsbury Doughboy the rough years. Yeah. Well, no, no. Because, hey, you know why? I mean, you know what ice cream I hit? Oh, I black walnut. Black right. walnut, baby. Yeah. That's the best in the world. I've seen you dough pop some butter pecan. Too, yeah. like, well, just, hey, butter pecan second, but yeah. hey, black walnuts are best. Just don't give them no butterscotch. Now, see, no, hey, no butterscotch. <laughs> no, no, I'll just walk around, throw it out the back door. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the deal: any time that you can take something and set it in front of a dog, and he smells it and turns his nose up it and runs away, it ain't no good. I ain't never met a dog that would try that. I mean, oh, I've no. had every dog will try it. At the place in town really? sells dog ice cream. Uh, dog think. ice cream. You can get, there's a place in town called Eskimos, and it is awesome. And if you go through the drive through they have like a dollar pet dog ice cream have you truck. tried it? i thought you had I no thought, my dog ate it once because i was like <laughs> no no i thought he was gonna say they got the dog out there and they'll taste it for you before you eat it <laughs> no it's, it's, yeah, right. it's, yeah. It's Eskimo. Like back in the Eskimo. back in the king days in the renaissance time they, they'd eat it before the king <laughs> right, well, but see eskimos is see if he looks funny eskimos is something totally different though that's custard no eskimos is just good it is that brownie sunday legit i get those 
fruit all in my The concrete mind. stuff? Uh, yeah. Is that that place? Let's go. Everything let's, on it? You ever been to Tennessee? Have I ever? Tennessee? Well, hey, a couple he, times. When he said he puts fruit in his, hey, that takes me to Tennessee, buddy. They put it fruit in shine. Oh. And oh. hey, and they got it down pat, buddy. Okay. Well, hey, I know I just went from ice cream to shine, but I can't help it. It's hey, a family show. Hey, brought went, up fruit, went boys. from cold to heat. That's but it. And I literally, you'd take them like a cherries and chew it and swallow it, and it would literally just heat your you whole up, huh? throat and belly up going down. Mm. But we are talking about two things that are way better if they're homemade. Oh, there it ice is. Ice cream and, and shine. shine. There you go. Especially when they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm. I can't say I've ever made my own shine. I ain't uh, either, but I've drank it. <laughs> but I have made my I've own ice cream. It. I tasted it's, it. It's got to be crystal clear as that right yeah. there, that glass. Well, I ain't, I ain't doing it. And then if you sniff it, you better not smell kerosene then. Don't drink that. Kerosene? You should never hey, drink anything look, that no, smells no, like hey, kerosene. Look, I'm just telling That's you just that, a life rule. No, no. A lot of people that do shine puts kerosene in it. Really? Oh, I'm telling you. Google it. Life was a lot wow. tighter. Well, they well I'm just telling you. Kerosene and moonshine. Hey, Look, it's I, like everything. Okay? I'm good. They're, they're I'm guys that know how to do it. And of kerosene so you can drink it. Kerosene. Well, hey. kerosene. Well, you got you to gotta remember something. I married a Tennessee girl. Nope. So I've been all up around Knoxville, all of them East Tennessee hills and oh, hollers yeah. and yeah. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, I, I've had the chance to experience some of <laughs> the finer homemade oh, stuff no. you've ever oh, had. Oh, no. What so are you talking about? My favorite one was the one they put that cinnamon in. They put that, they call it like apple pie or something. It's yeah, good cool. when it's homemade. That stuff you buy at the store. Yeah, he's Ooh. right. They, they put kerosene in it? I hadn't, hey, I hadn't tasted that. Mm -hmm. The apple pie? No, yeah. I, I, I bet that is good because I like anything with cinnamon on it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Cause I eat just cinnamon toast and sugar and stuff and butter. Yeah, oh, roll it up. Oh, yeah, that's for real. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I had a little taste with the Knox County Sheriff Department. <laughs> now hmm. that's when you got it down good. They were not. They's off the duty. The law Look. is in on it, JD. Oh, they's off duty. We was at a Tennessee that's football right. game. Right. We was at a volunteer football game. Oh, Shocker! Right. Spoiler alert: Tennessee lost. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, oh, that's just a joke that's I do. Mean. Okay. I got family oh, that are right. there. Hey. That that's where you sad. came from was them hills and hollers. I, I mean, originally. I, I Googled. I, would, have you ever done the, the, the family tree thing and seen where you came from? Oh, I know. And he just said something that you came from the Tennessee hills? Mm -hmm. We don't know. I traced What the, do you mean you don't know? He just said you came from there. Well, yeah. That's where it just, the line. Well, that makes, we might be kinfolk, J.D. That would make sense. No, no. no it no. would. Because we came from Tennessee. <laughs> but, no, but, no. But, but that unfortunately means Dad, Corey and Willie hey, are folks. Hey. No, no. I'm serious. And Fitz. Hey. Yeah. Dad <laughs> would come down. You know, his folks come down in covered wagons. We went. We, and settled in I tried to draw back the Owen line. I was like, let's see what happened. And it's like about 100 years ago, somebody was in Tennessee. And they're like, oh, we're Owen. Uh -oh. And that's it. <laughs> they dropped not that a lot S. of family right. history. They dropped that S and said, yeah, "No." Oh. By the way, if you put an S on the end of Owen and you, it's Owens, that's just not right. It's not a uh, name. I know two John Owens. That's plural. That, I'm saying you know, Owen. Owen. Oh yeah. And, and one of them got a hot duck hole. Uh -oh. That's Mister John, the farmer. And then there's Ooh. me. And then there's you, <laughs> who's got a good tackle shop. That's so what we do. John I mean, Owen. I'm surrounded with Owens. Duck hunting hmm. and fishing. I think y'all going to be all right. That Owen family be fine. Nothing wrong with them. Nothing. Yeah, we don't need no S. Yeah. People trying to add it. Yeah. They're trying no. to add it, boys. I, hey, no. that's, you know, you're talking about them here? coming down covered wagons, though. Could you imagine them boys coming in them covered wagons and they hit that Mississippi River? Hmm. You imagine yeah. that? No, 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 no. I, that, no yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. They so hit that Mississippi River and said, hold up now. <laughs> Yeah. No, <laughs> Take no. the wheels off. Yeah, so, hmm. No, no, no. Look. Can I, we float it? Yeah. No. When, <laughs> when I went to Arizona to visit my mom and dad out there, daddy was working out there. If you crossed the Mississippi, you went the wrong way. Yeah, but don't no, listen to me. They went. They had the trail that they come down, okay? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you got to think about, hey, they lowered wagons, mules, horses, and all this stuff. When they come to a big gully. Yeah. It wasn't go around it. Through it. They go down, They and they do this with block and tackle and horses and mules, and then two or three of them would take whatever was, you know, and meet them 
way down there somewhere. But when you look in, you know, I'm looking at, wait a minute, they put wagons and stuff down here? I mean, they crossed them Rocky Mountains. No, no. Yeah, son. I mean, just think about uh, that. Uh, you want to talk about tough. Oh. Well, them you folks was tough. Yeah. Think about this. That's why back, I back in them days, the way you lived, even though you had shelters and houses and stuff, it was still like camping out every day. There wasn't no air conditioning. They wasn't on no that air, air conditioning, conditioning bag. No, they just raised the window. See, why did people stop here without an air conditioner? I don't know. Ooh. But I, you want to talk about tough. Sweaty. Forget yeah. air conditioning. Yeah. I can make it potentially well, without skaters. air conditioning. Skaters. Them skaters. Woo. You can oh, make like it without you. air conditioner? <laughs> I, could, I could survive without air conditioning a lot longer than I could in a place where I can't get away from mosquitoes. You're powerful. I would go nuts. Something buzzing around me. There's plenty of turkey hunting footage. <sighs> them flies when they land on them cow patties and then come up there and land on your nose and your lips and you turkey hunting and you can't move. <laughs> them things that buzz around me drive me insane. You insane. need me to spill my guts, fill this room full of flies cause, and give me nothing to kill them with. And I will, I'll tell you everything that I've ever done in life. You just they, don't like flies? Any kind of buzzing insect that get up around this area. I cannot. <laughs> that's why I hate teal season. I hate teal season. Yeah, bow season, they rough. Bow season ain't so bad, but them teal, the blue ones, because you're around a mosquito breeding pond. Yep. And yep. they just. Uh, and not only that, was that and, last I, yeah. and they're blood you know suckers. Yeah. Blood and these suckers. suckers down here get so big, enough of them get on you, you can fly on the way. <laughs> <laughs> take a yeah, lot of them to pick me up. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, now it would take a bunch of them to get you up. Yeah. <laughs> That's why me and Godwin are anchored. <laughs> so. yeah, a lot of fat. They come by us. So. But you ought to have one of them suckers. Hey, you ought to have one of them like a mosquito get in your ear inside. Oh, have you I, had And every mis- time he. Bzz, oh, I, bzz, I'd die. Bzz, you know, just oh, oh no. Couldn't yeah. do it. I'd die. You know, yeah. That's like Jay's. Get, what is it? A Chadwick? Something like that? Chadwick. Never heard of it. Oh, oh God. Jay's had something pulled out of his ear by a doctor. That was Willie. No, no, Jace. This was Jace. And he showed me a stupid picture of it. It looked like a prehistoric monster. Living up in his ear? <laughs> in his ear. That's This terrible. thing had, I mean, like, you know, claw, claws. You know, oh, I'm serious. I remember that. This I thing that. was ugly. But I don't ugly. remember what it was. It's a, a tick, a, a guy, earwax, chedwax, something like that. But, hey, you talking about rough and looking. And the bendigo? And, hey, they pulled <laughs> Hey, they pulled it out of his ear, and I just, he showed me a picture of it, and I said, you got to be kidding me. He, You've had that? He said, oh, yeah, I've had it in my ear. Uh, he probably stuck it in there when Tommy was around. Well, him. no, no, I'm telling you, hey, <laughs> I couldn't believe Hey, you ought to see Left the picture. Yeah. He's got it on his phone. Does he? Oh, and hey, well, this thing is gross looking. Well, let's let's see if we can't figure that out. Let's take a break, see if we can figure oh, out what JD's it is, and we'll go into it. it. Okay, can't look at it. Nope. That was gross. So now we got to take a break for a completely different reason. We'll be right back after this. We go. Let's face it. Taking trips to the post office is probably not how you want to spend your time. That's why I recommend mailing and shipping online at stamps.com. It is how we ship packages to you when you order from duckcommander.com. We get all of our packages and postage through stamps.com. So... Johnny D, I don't know if they can do anything about a broken ankle, but, you know, hey, they yeah. may can't. I tell you what. They better ship, you, better they can, you than me. I can send you an ace bandage via stamps.com and save, save money on the shipping. That's right. It allows you to mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer, send letters, ship packages, and pay a lot less with discounted rates from the USPS, UPS, and more. Stamps.com has saved businesses thousands of hours and tons of money. With stamps.com, you get the services of the post office and UPS all in one place. And let's not forget, huge discounts on mailing and shipping rates. So stop wasting time going to the post office. Who has time to do that anymore? And go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with our promo code DUCK, you will get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. There's no long-term commitment or contract. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in DUCK. That's stamps.com, promo code DUCK, stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. He just looked it up. It's an earwig. It's an earwig. Earwig. Yeah, earwig. 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 Uh, what a name. Earwig. You found him? Well, he's supposed to be in here. You're supposed to. 
He's like a roach mixed with a scorpion. Let me see. Yeah. No, no, nah, this nah, thing nah. is Google, gross looking. Yeah, Google that on your own phone. Yeah. I, don't, I ain't it's looking at gross that. Gross looking. All right, hold on. I, I got, ain't looking at that. I again. got Google too. Um, uh, Willie tells a story where he had one of those in his ear too. So I think they uh, might need an exterminator down well, there. Well, they're supposed to be. Earwig. <laughs> I think Phil and Kay need the number to uh, oh. bullseye exterminate. Oh, yeah, that would be it. <laughs> For real, that come out his ear. That's yeah. come out his ear. Yeah. When he when he showed me, I thought he was lying to me. What, I called him a liar. That looks like something you'd put on a hook. Yeah, yeah, Willie's told the same story back whenever he was living in the laundry room, and Phil just put a bunch of Vaseline in his ear. Oh, to, to snuff him it, out. To snu- and that didn't work. And he ended up in the emergency room with like a big old cockroach in his ear. That air, thing air right wave. there. That thing right there. Him. That's you, him. You catch a blue, you catch a bluegill off of him. Yeah, ain't no doubt about it. I a can't bluegill. Look at it again. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. When they was just smuggling their fishing bait. No, That's no, all they was doing. When he told me about that, I called him a liar. I said, Jake, you didn't have that in your ear. He looks like a cross between a cricket, a crawfish, <laughs> and a spider with a little bit of cockroach mixed whoever in. Whoever is. Whoever is editing this, do not put a picture of this thing up for people to look Make at because up that, it's gross. It is gross. Do not Google it either, people. It's yeah. nasty. Huh. But he had that thing living inside his ear, and it ain't understand how long it been there. It's supposed to be on your head. It's an ear wig. It ain't supposed to be on your head. <laughs> a wig. I get it. Hey, I got you. Wig. I got hey, you. We, <laughs> call, we call it. <laughs> Uh, it's an earwig. Most species of earwigs feed on decaying vegetation, such as composting leaves and other plant why items. Why was that in Jace's ear? That's what I'm trying. That's why I'm trying to figure out how they get there. Y'all make fun of me for. Oh, he just b- crawled in there. The I have bidets. Now. I'm I'm clean, and y'all make fun of me, but y'all got things. But this has got to be. I mean, this has got to be. Well, that's the kind of. It's got to be something common. If he woods. got hung with the name earwig, like. Because that's where they found him. Most stuff gets the name like... I can't Google it. You're uh, in charge yeah. of this. That's where they I, live. I like it. I will throw up hey. if I see hey, something. It ain't, on, it ain't no telling how long he'd been in Jason's ear. Since birth. No, ear no, wood. I'm serious. They're found everywhere but Antarctica. Yeah. Hey. Look, we're oh. teaching y'all some stuff today now. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah. telling you. Oh, wow. here's yeah. why. Here's why. Uh-oh. 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 Listen, Uh-oh. listen. They're listen. mostly nocturnal and often hide in small, moist crevices during oh. the day. I know why they do. And then they come out at night. I know where he got them. Where'd he get them? He got them frog gigging. Thank you. Frog Thank gigging. You. Thank you. All right. I can go frog with that. Gigging. That's where he got him. All right, That's I made it to the Wikipedia page, so now I can read that it. Is, yeah. That is a gross-looking thing. Isn't it? It's, it's not. It's, it only makes me want to throw up when I see it in someone's ear. Yeah. The That's thought, nice. the thought of that thing in there, like tickling me on the inside of the ear, oh, just hey. that would drive me. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how they kept it in there as long as they did. Relationship with humans, man, you gotta love the internet. What about what, <laughs> they got a relationship with this? What boy? about when a, when you swallow a bug? I'm going down a oh, like, that, like running that, down a river. Yeah. yeah, hey, all that Ooh. is is protein, and you can't get him up. Oh yeah, oh, when hey. he gets stuck He's halfway, and you got oh, do, I, do I continue? Oh, that's bad. Or do I try to get him up, or do I just go on swallow? Swallow every hey. time. Send him yeah. to the stomach. The acid will eat him. Mm. Or, or go into your boat The stand acid will eat him. And you walk through a spider web. Hey, hey, when he falls in the stomach, face. you hear him. Ah. Hey, the good news is they at least. All right, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go down a bad road yeah, on right. this. Old oh, biologist oh. here. It's like, hey, we're going to take oh. a 20 minute break. Heck right? yeah. Martin's like... going to give a full book report on earwigs. He'll, he'll, that... he'll be out there turning boards over. Oh, like, yeah. Well, that stuff is cool, man. Like, how does that not interest you? I, I don't understand. Because it's gross. Well, I understand it's gross, but like, that's cool. Hey, I like, get. Hey, here's what he lived off when he was in Jason's ear. Okay. The earwax. I would have argued that's, he hey, must have ate part of his brain. But, well, <laughs> no, hey, I'm now kidding. that hey, I wasn't gonna go Jason. there. I wasn't gonna go there. Hey, I'm but, kidding. Hey, now that you brought it up, yep, yep, he got a little bit of that <laughs> while hey, he was hey, in there too. I think we that need makes to that makes a lot of sense, boys. Hygiene. Now we know. Hygiene. What did they tell you? They was poor as a snake. But it, this sounds like as an adult. No, it wasn't as an adult. Yeah. Was well, Jace yeah. as an adult? I, it, during yeah. duck season. Yeah. Now, during duck season, okay, I get it. Like, right. I mean, that, yeah. That, that when you're happened. out in the wild, ain't no telling what 
What's yeah. going to get on you? I mean, you crawl. Look, you. it yeah. said they live like in moist places, leaves yeah. and all that. Yeah. Let me tell you what the bottom of every one of Phil Robertson's duck blind is full of. Moist leaves. Moist leaves. <laughs> yeah. Every hey, last and un- one Hey, and unfortunately... <laughs> A lot of critters go in there, okay, and it's rough. Yeah. You, know, you uh, got to so, look in the hey, corners when you yeah. go in there. There's snakes in there, huh? No. Oh, yeah. You go to Oh, sp- no. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's snakes in there. Here we go. Oh, there's snakes in there. Mm. You, ought to, you ought to go duck hunting and get up in your spot on the blind, and the next thing you see, you see something out there out there putting the decoy down, the next thing you see is you see something uncoiling. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm going to jump the gun here because we do have an email from Daniel. Um, why is Sai so scared of snakes? Did something happen to you in Vietnam? Why are uh, you so scared of snakes? He read Genesis. Well, no, no. Hey. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Because this yeah. guy's <laughs> father in law is a he Vietnam really, vet. He really has got it down. It, it is because of Genesis, okay? Yo, so no, no the life. The evil ex- one is, is, is a snake, okay? And he truly is, okay? Boy, it's bad news. Uh, so no, I just don't like him. Okay, and look. So it's not like a life. There wasn't well, a moment that no, scarred not, you. I, no, I just never liked them. Anything that slithers around, okay, on their belly. I get it. No, I don't like them. I get. It. I mean, I can see that snakes don't bother me. Now you're. I think it's a human reaction when you see one. You automatically flinch. Like oh, there's okay. not a. There, and the people that don't flinch, you get to looking, and they're missing toes, fingers, and stuff like that, yeah. where something just dope popped yeah. them one time, yeah. and that you know that's a bad deal. It's a but dope option. Yeah, yeah, but like I I, I play with them. I like You're, snakes. Yeah, they're it fun. Bothers me. Oh, yeah. I do too. Yeah, <laughs> at the end of a shotgun or a rifle. Side si, si plays tag. Oh with yeah, them. I play tag. <laughs> tag. You're okay. tag. <laughs> Damn, you're it. Because Yo, we've had. A, hey, the corner van is pulling up. <laughs> Because you're going on your last ride, Jack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Because we, we've had ooh. a few snakes show up to this office, uh-huh. and they're like, hey, they ask somebody to come get him, and I'm always standing on a couch or on top of a desk. Yeah. And Martin's playing with the dadgum thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love them. I mean, they're cool. Like, they, they will bite you. That's the whole. Everybody always oh. says, well, will he bite you? I'm like, does he have a mouth? <laughs> yes, he yeah, will bite you. He will bite you. Yes, there's, you know, there's. I say no, the same thing about Sai. Yeah, yeah hey, he'll bite you is. too. He'll bite you too. Ain't no doubt. Yeah, ain't no I ain't doubt. no doubt about that. I got my wife yesterday with a snake. That was a fun one. I, what? There been one living in our little sprinkler system deal. A little no. garter snake. Yeah, I've been watching him. He's just living in there. So he's keeping the bugs beat out and everything else. So I told her, I said, look, it's springtime. You know, we need to go get the sprinklers ready. Get the irrigation system going. I said, but I need some help. No. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> you are mean. Go right. over there to that one. Yeah, I said you go to that one. I got to get this one, and we got to do it at the same time. Make this thing work. And she went to reach on that, <laughs> reach on that cover, and that thing, that thing got her on the finger. Just, just come up here and licked her. You know, just <laughs> no. Oh, so she came out her skin. She said, whoa, 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 something's in there. I said, what are you talking about? There ain't nothing in there. Did she hurt you? No, she didn't. She doesn't hurt. know you did it on purpose. Oh, she oh yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, she knew when I started dying out laughing. And then I took it off and I, I took the cap off and picked him up. I've been playing with him for a week. I mean, he just been living in there. <laughs> what a weirdo. Oh, if the I head, did that, the to- headlines are going to read Justin Lee Martin was killed by his wife. Yeah. Because he was playing with a snake. Oh, my yeah. wife would murder me. Uh-huh. It wouldn't even in cold blood. She'd call the news to come make sure they got it on video. Uh-huh. You got any holes in your mailbox? I don't want no snakes anywhere near me. I can't find one. Put it in the mailbox. Let Allison figure it no, out. No, my wife <laughs> is so afraid of snakes. It's not even funny. Oh. And one time there was one in the middle of the road. And we were on the golf cart, and I pulled up to it and i was like oh well i just that's it for this marriage i yeah. i ruined it i thought she was never gonna talk to me again uh, man so we don't play with snakes oh i love them they're fun you're a uh, weird person man. i i like <laughs> i like nature i like everything i about like it. looking at snakes he ain't paying attention to what he said he said usually those that play with snakes are missing fingers and all this <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, look, I'm, uh, now, I'm smart enough to know which ones to pick up and which not. Now, I poisonous. say that. Now, I did have one case of mistaken identity in my life that, that, <laughs> could, have, that could have cost me my life. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Was it poisonous? Uh, no, he was venomous. Let's get that right. <laughs> right there are no it. such thing yeah. as poisonous snakes. They're venomous people. Just 
I sorry I took herpetology in college. That was beat into my head, and it really drives uh, every me crazy time, when I hear it. It's I got a question about that. It's not a poisonous snake. I got a question. It's a venomous snake. I got a question about that. Go ahead. You get bit by a poisonous snake. Venomous. 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 He does it every and time. And they go to the, the hospital, and then they shoot you up with more poison. Anti-venom. It's anti-venom. Won't you just let the snake bite you twice? <laughs> Well, hey, now here's you go. Here you go about common sense. Okay, I, I don't have the answer. Hey, it's it's like the covert, uh, you know, the virus. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. I done had it. He's so a, why should I take the take the serum? Oh, they all, they do. all they're gonna do is they're gonna bite me again. Oh, uh, he said, why don't you just let the yeah. snake bite, <laughs> bite you bite twice? Me. Hey, bite me twice, there, rattlesnake. Yeah. Oh, oh, you bet you once you die, they bite you twice. You gone, by, <laughs> swell up a little bit and gone about your business. <laughs> That's why you don't. I'm play trying with to them. Google it. He's googling what? Any venom? No. Uh, well, ain't that why what don't they do? Don't they do that when you they give you a shot of the same venom? That's why they no any venom what kind of snake it is. No any it venom is they inject you with the antibodies. They take yeah. the venom and then make antibodies with the venom, and then you get the antibodies to go in your body and attack the venom and get to, it out to a fight. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're injecting a bunch of soldiers into your body yeah. that know how to fight this stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay away from and it still right. comes snakes. from, but it the starts venom. as the snake venom. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And but they do it with animals that are tougher than us that can fight it. So I think like, like, I think it comes from like horses or something. I don't know. Horses? Or how is any venom made? I'm more know. scared I think of horses than I am of snakes. The yeah. only thing so about when that, a snake bites you, you yeah. need to go let a horse bite you. <laughs> no, you <laughs> just need to go get a transfusion from the horse. That's all. <laughs> I'm with you. I like it, boys. I'm with I like uh, on this. You heard it here first, boys. Yeah, go if get the horse get treatment. Bit by a snake get bit by a horse here's the scary thing about snakes I, yeah. they bite no <laughs> uh, they get big real big oh they real do. big if they're for the, there's a lot of food that they eat and they're not bothered they get huge because right now <clears throat> florida has got a problem all them pythons oh, with yeah. all the pythons the that there. they buy them when they're little bitty things <clears throat> to play with them but that they don't stay little, okay? You know, now they they've got patrols that patrols, you know. Yeah, people let them go. Yeah, yeah let them go, yeah. and then they grow big. And hey, here you got one of them anacondas that weigh, you know, you five hundred pounds and twenty foot long. You go outside and call for Fido, and he don't come. Yeah, yeah, and then you look over there, and there's a big lump laying over there, and <clears throat> he's going along, and then boom, boom, right in the middle of it, just, you know, he gets real, look like a pregnant woman. Yeah. That's where Fido went, Jack. <laughs> oh man, we went right, off the We went off the track there. And, yeah. Good grief! Well, let's take a break. We'll get right back on them. Ooh. Oh, look at him, <laughs> Janie! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm watching an iguana run from 50 snakes <laughs> on planet Earth. Have uh, you never seen this? Iguana no, 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 run. Hey. Oh, it, and you uh, you talking about Nam. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what are y'all looking yeah, at? Yeah, he got him. <laughs> and now, hey. He wait, just, wait, 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 wait. Hey, he's just rolling it up and crushing him. <laughs> oh, oh, he beat him. <laughs> <laughs> he slicked him, and he's running like the wind, boys. <laughs> what did he do? Uh, he yeah. flared them things hey, up. I dude. guess. No, we got an iguana running from 50 different snakes. It's a planet Earth. Two islands. Planet Earth. We need Psy. That's yeah. what we need to do. Psy narrates planet Earth. <laughs> That'd be mm-hmm. pretty good. Hey, that boy's climbing the mountains on him now. He gone. He made it. He, he made, made it. it. He made it. Mm. Snake YouTube. Every now and then. Good grief. Mm. <laughs> so, Psy, yeah. what you're telling me is in your Christian walk, you ain't ever been wanting them to go get in a sleeping bag with some snakes to show us what Jesus can do, are you? <laughs> no. No, I... Hey, I'm afraid. I'm afraid my faith would be a little bit lacking there. <laughs> okay, go look. He said something back. Now I'm all going snake. Look, I'm I'm going to guard duty. Okay, and I look over and I think it's it looks like a uh, where a truck has blown a tire. You know, one of these eighteen wheelers. That's what it looked like. It's about that wide, about eighteen inches wide. 
<clears throat> and I look, and there's a lot of stuff buzzing above it, you know, and on it. <clears throat> and I said, yesterday they was talking about they killed a, a cobra out here. I said, no, sh that can't be, you know. So I go over there and kick it over. Oh, yeah, it's a cobra, a piece of him, because they shot him in half and in all kind of feet. <laughs> okay, but this thing's about 18 inches wide, a king cobra. Okay, and look, they's guard duty, okay, and they had a new kid. He just arrived in country, and he's on guard duty, and he keeps telling them, man, I'm seeing some eyes. It comes close, and then it goes away. You know, and they said, oh, shut up, you know. And he said, I'm telling you, you better pop a flare. There's something out there. You know, so he bothers for like 30 minutes. This thing is, and all it is, at King Cobra, they got a connex that they cut slit in and then put sandbags on top of it. He's in front of it, and he's coming like this. He comes in the in that little slit, and then he goes back. You know, well, they finally, that guy keeps bothering them, so they say, okay, pop a flare over bunker so-and-so. When they do, he comes like this, and then all you hear is, <laughs> yeah, all of them M M60 machine guns opened up. Uh, they got it. M16. The things are big. You know, huh? But, hey, a King Cobra is a mean dude. Johnny D, why you got Google? What is the fear of snakes? Hey. What which one? Which phobia is the what fear is he, of snakes? What is he running or snake is over you? Sorry, I'm currently watching a mongoose fight a cobra. Oh, that mongoose oh, they, gonna no, win. I kill. They, no, they kill him. Yeah, that mongoose gonna yeah, win. He finna kill him. Yeah. He's quick though. Oh, oh, uh oh. That mongoose <laughs> like the honey badger, son. Uh -oh. He don't care. This thing got 60 million views. Well, of course it did. All right, what are we looking up? Ooh, fear, fear of snakes. Of what is it? Snakes. What? Godwin says it's snakeophobia. I, I got it. Snakeophobia? Aphidolabla. Where'd it go? <laughs> what was that last part? Aphidiophobia. Aphidiophobia? Well, Ophidiophobia? Well, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's... Oh, oh. Oh. Ophidiophobia. Yeah. Ophidiophobia. Yeah, that comes from Greek. Ophidiophobia. I think it's either Greek or Latin as the ophus or whatever for snakes. So. But they have It's an abnormal fear of snakes. So that's what size gets. No, the, or, the fear of snakes is not abnormal. Or <laughs> No, thank you. They, hey, since they got... I'd say no, Martin's the hey, abnormal since one. Since they got die in the middle of that <laughs> word, <laughs> no. It ain't no abnormal, Jack. <laughs> no. There's oh. also... Well, your boy, I just got... Herptophobia. Herpetophobia? Yeah. That's when yeah, you like dogs. Herpetophobia. Dog. Obadiophobia. That's the fear of reptiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that means you don't like gators and turtles right. and stuff, too. Hey, so I, I don't like frogs. That's another thing I don't you, like. What? You don't... What? A gator? A gator, because I'm always waiting in the, in the swamps, okay? Yeah. So it ain't a good thing. Yeah, them big lizards are to be... Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to say feared, but they're very much to be respected. Look, well, they I, won't I, run from you, neither. Where's out there... Building a duck blind in the water, and this they just come up. I mean, right there. And I thought we had a boat there, Phil and Tommy. They out there building that duck. I said, "Hey, look at <laughs> there! Look right there!" What was it? It was a gator. How big? Big, big. enough. <laughs> It was a big giant. It like looked was like Godzilla, big. didn't he? Hey, big enough, big enough, boy. Things uh, dinosaurs. Uh, I said, How Phil, would you like I, to be I, wading I, I in told water? Phil, Phil said, they ain't going to bother you. And I got to thinking, they sure ain't because I got in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's Phil's back. famous line about everything. Yeah. ain't yeah. going to bother you. Ain't nobody. And yeah. his, his other famous line is just don't be second. Yeah. That's why he takes off blazing the trail everywhere you go. He said, get behind me. Come on down here. We'll jump on this yeah. four wheeler. You don't need no boots. Yeah, you don't need no boots. You ruin them shoes. Go ahead and throw them away for the rest of your yeah. life. Them, them's done. We ain't gonna be gone about fifteen minutes. But I, I mean, I guess we all have fears and stuff. Like, I mean, I, I don't like a spider. So that movie, Arachnophobia. No, I'm out on him. Like that, that Spider. thing. Spiders. They, cause they small. Like you can't see them. A snake, you can see. That spider, though, he be done crept up on you and got you, son, before you even know. Hmm. Like growing up squirrel hunting, October is when them orb spiders get in the middle of every trail yeah, through the woods. That's what I was talking about earlier. And then you walking through there and you just, and it, a thing of panic takes me over of like, well, where is he? Because you know that big rascal, and he can't hurt you. That way. But you like, know that oh. big rascal's on you. That, th that web is like glue. Yeah, it's like glue. 
Why? Why is the deal about that? Like you're talking about, it's 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 animal trails. Yeah. Why is it always the, it's up about neck high? Because that's well. Cause think wants- about it. When you're going through there, and it's warm. <laughs> mosquitoes is on your back flies is on you same deal with deer they just get right above them then when the deer hits the web they duck the animals the the little stuff comes up whop right in the they got dinner hmm. it's pretty slick they well, pretty yeah, slick it's engineer pretty wild. yeah yeah it's pretty wild. martin's smart hey i just spent a lot of time trying to avoid them things that's one cool cool thing i don't reckon i'm really scared spiders of spiders are cool you ain't scared of nothing no. Cold water. Well, I mean, yeah, cold water. <laughs> He's scared of that. Ice, cool. cold but water. He and ice. He can't bite me back, though. Right. No, but he lock you up. He'll lock you up. Well, you stay out of him, he won't. <laughs> Spiders are a cool little critter, though. No, they ain't. Yeah, they are. No, they got eight no, no. eyes and no, eight no, legs. Look, and they you, got a, you got a two-lane dirt road. <clears throat> trees on this side, trees on the other side. And what they do is they got a the spider web. Yeah. They just start letting it out all, and the wind's blowing, and hey, it know. blows them all the way across that two lane road. I've seen them the out tree. in the middle of the lake. Yeah. yeah. And a piece of spider web come by. A bit and they of land on you. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying, and I'm trying, and I'm trying to get naked. <laughs> like, where'd that thing go? God, well, I'm out in the middle of the lake. Ain't no trees <laughs> out here. Yeah. Yeah, Here they it just comes. Floating. Just floating along. Mm hmm. They slick. That and ants. Ants use water. I ain't use water. Yeah, don't we all? Oh uh, no, 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 no! I'm talking about when the water river comes up. Oh, when you flood, you see oh, them big get, balls of fire. Hey, yeah. That's why I look in South Louisiana. You go down there, and hey, there'll be an ant hill up there, ten feet tall. Oh, they just trying to beat the other guy to get to the top of the water. No, yeah, I always hey. wonder how they decide who's on top, and who's on hey. bottom. Oh, it's always yeah. moving. Yeah. I don't think it, the ones on the bottom drown, though. No, they don't. They don't it's, stay it in It creates an air pocket. It's, it's the survival of the fittest. Yeah. The big boys always make it to the top. Only the strong I mean, survive. No, hey. Yeah, I hate, I, I've always, every time during duck season, when you get a fresh rain or something that floods up, I always, whoever's with me, I say, I give you $20, stick your finger in that ball right there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they get everywhere. I, I got a 20 to give you. Yeah, you just, put your finger nah. right there. Hey. Right Dude. there. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I, got, I, I leaned on a log shooting wood ducks one morning when the water just come up. Yep. Did it get you? And, uh, well, I didn't know it, but oh, yeah. and then, then we went to the blind. I got in that blind, and they went to turn me up. That's I the, had ants in my paint. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the problem with ants is they all wait until that Ooh. signal's fired, and then they all get you at once. They won't just, like, get on you and bite you <laughs> one time. Put them little right. white spots on you. Yeah, they get everybody in position, the and they're shot, like, The fire. shot that was heard around the world yeah. was <laughs> <laughs> when that first command was given. Oh, Stick him. The Stick cr- him. This will forever be known as the critter episode. Okay. Let's take critter. one more break, and we'll be right back after this. Well, well, what? Sounds like a deep subject. <laughs> Touche, friend. God was on it today. <laughs> Touche. You had a good night's sleep, didn't you, old buddy? I did. Oh, I laid down, woke up, and had your vitamins and everything. You good to go today. I like. Well, sounds like a vitamins deep subject. Vitamins before and after sleep. I guarantee. Could be a deep subject, or if it's a shallow well, it'll be a shallow subject. Yeah. But it won't be dry. Hey, but it won't well, be I could have said for such a narrow-minded feller, but I left that out. <laughs> How would you like to live, okay? Like if Darbone had had uh, not alligators, but the crocodiles. Uh-uh. Crocodiles. Yes. No, no. Yeah. Cro- see, look. That's in mean stuff. Oh, yeah. I think I've made it very well known on the things that kind of drive me batty. I like to be at the top of the food chain. Uh, yep. The tippity top. Yeah. Don't not you And don't, I don't want nothing looking eye level with me. Yeah. yeah. Like, I like everything yeah. be down below me. Because like big cats, I'm out on them. Yeah. Spiders, you know, they are what they are. But crocodiles, they eat you. You know why I don't get that ocean? Sharks. Yeah. Hey. wouldn't jump out there with them. I ain't. Oh, oh nope. I seen one one time. Well, I all did. We was I mean, we was pretty good ways from the bank. Yeah. And we was brown this coral reef where it was a bunch of them pretty little Elmos and everything was swimming down there. Elmos? Ain't you mean Nemo? Nemo? Yeah, Nemo. him. Yeah. Nemo. El- right. and, uh, right. Elmo's Nemo. that little red rascal. Yeah, looking for looking for Nemo. Yeah, yeah but I, so they was all down <laughs> That's there. That's what they should have named it. And then this. <laughs> looking for Nemo. I guess it was a reef shark. Uh, a reef up. shark. Yep, nope. I was like, what do we do? I said, 
I looked at the bank. I said, I don't know. Yeah. Swim. Hey, I said, then I remember the them guys that was doing that, taking that one breath and going down 100 feet. They said, just look them in the eye, keep, keep your eye on them, and they'll leave you alone. So I kept my eye on him. Yeah. That works every didn't time get but close. once. Yeah. yeah. That works. That's just like going all in in poker. It works every time yeah, but once. That's it. Yeah. I was no, looking at you, him when he bit me. Yeah, you need to watch Shark Week. No, I ain't doing it. Oh, yeah. Shark hey, Week. look, Shark Week had one episode on, and look, the big whale had died. And the sharks had ate this thing down to about, oh, that guy was on, on a, a piece of blubber left about three times as big as this. Yeah. A cameraman. He's got a camera, and this big, great white comes up, and he's literally got the camera in this thing's mouth, and he's biting off about all oh, a hondo <laughs> piece of blubber. Good night. Mm. Yeah. He's way too close. Hey, mm. No, he's way too stupid. It wasn't that old braided haired dude, hey, was it? Well, hey, I'm just telling what you. What do you call that? What's I that wouldn't ride it. What he had? Yeah. What dreadlocks? What yeah, Devin? dreadlocks? Yeah, dreadlocks. You talking about Devin? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, old yeah. Devin. Think about, Devin. think about. It. I wouldn't ride a piece of blubber with great whites in the area feeding on this thing. No, I walk. I walk around it with it every day. I ain't riding it. I seen Devin. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's, it's close from a cottonmouth taking his picture. Oh yeah, I remember. It's that. close. Yeah. Oh, I've been he behind. Ain't scared. I, I've been behind Phil, and he he puts his foot down. And about where that Bible's at, you see just a white spot. Yeah, but he didn't know it. Uh, well, Devin know. knew it. I know, but hey, you know, mm. I've seen him do that so many times. And, you know, we're all lucky that we ain't been bit out there. I guarantee you. Well, look, let's get in the mailbag, the hello at uh, duckcallroom.com. Right, We've already been in it a little bit. But hello. Johnny D., what do we have from the hello? Duckcallroom.com. So we're getting a lot of requests to have our wives on the show. Wives on the show. Wives on the show. Well, my wife works. And they try to keep this an hour long. So <laughs> if that's what you want to keep it, we ain't going to be able to do that. Yeah. So, but I'm just letting y'all know that's a big request. I wanted to just throw it out there. So now y'all know I've asked. Um, and plus, but, we may get fired if they see all that eye candy get on uh, here. Uh-oh. They'd be a lot easier to look at than us. That's well, Miss Christine will probably not be involved in this. <laughs> she mean? Huh. Yeah, she's, Speaking on, of, she's too mean to be on co- on podcast. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of, we got an email from Ivy. He just got married back in August, also to a mean redhead in uh-oh, parentheses. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, Sorry, Ivy. <laughs> <laughs> You're out. So my man from West Virginia needs Cy to know his number one advice on having a long and happy marriage to a mean redhead. You say yes, ma'am, a lot. <laughs> Submission. <laughs> okay. Do not forget that that's important. That's important. That's a big one. You got that's a big one, boys. That is solid. Mm. That's it? Just yes, ma'am, no, ma'am? That's it. Yep. No, he didn't say no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. You don't no, say no. no. <laughs> you don't say no to a mean redhead. Yeah. Okay. I, I it's yes, ma'am. Just nine, get out of the way. Nine bags full. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Yes, and- ma'am. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> That's right. There it is. And next is from another uh, Daniel. We've well, had a Daniel. lot of Daniels. We got a lot of Daniels around here. A lot of Daniels here. around here. I wonder yeah. if any of them been in the lion's den. Old Danny boy. With Shadrach. Old Danny boy. Uh, he's a huge fan of the show, and he likes being outside and chasing animals. But he has a question. How to get over shaky hands when you shoot a deer? And I'm steady as can be. Uh, no shakes at no, all. If your hands stop shaking, quit hunting. Yeah, quit deer hunting. Now, I think there's a, there's that point, like, when I'm deer hunting, I, I bow hunt a lot, so, um, but it's always weird, like, getting, when I'm getting ready, like, everything be like this, but when I start the drawback process, for whatever reason, everything gets calm. It focuses it's the killer, in. It's the killer instinct. And, and there's just a calmness that goes That's over right, me. Before the storm. And when that arrow lets loose and you hear that thud, then, it then, buddy, I yeah. got to find me a seat. Like, yeah. I got to sit down. Like, it, I mean, you can look back at all my deer hunts that have been on camera, and the first thing I do, I take my hat off and I sit down. I don't know why I take my hat off, but but I get them so swimming. It's got, too, it's got too hot? Yeah, I got a lot of adrenaline up yep, there. I got guess. too hot. That's what it is. Um, but I do. I get them swimmy legs, son. I got to sit down. I, 
that you don't have to worry about me waiting 30 minutes because that's how long it takes me to calm down. Oh, like, yeah. like, I'm not one of them that can run out of the. I ain't Jim Shockey. I can't just take off. You know what it is. Like, you know the ra- what it is. The reason you what they them back straps are going to run off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, man, the can. reason they said, hey, quit hunting if, if you don't do that. If you don't get excited, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I still get nervous when a big old Myler Drake's coming in the plugs. Hey. Like, I have my hand on my shotgun, and that thing just kind of, is he going to see us? Is he going to flare? Yeah, but it's two flare? reasons why you're, you're getting. not to move. Yeah. Hey, it's two reasons why you're getting shaky hands. You're hoping someone doesn't shoot him before you get the chance to kill him. Yeah. Very few that's going to shoot him before I get my chance. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> my favorite. Hey, you got to be quick with these boys. Uh, Martin got the video when I killed a deer last year. Oh, Lord. I wasn't sure where I hit it, but we had a cameraman. You can go watch it on Buck Commander's YouTube. Yeah. It's a big deer. Um, and I, I was texting Martin, and then I tried to video the video. And my hands were, yes. you couldn't see anything in the video. It was because, like the worst Bigfoot video you've ever seen. And it like, was 15 minutes later, and my hands, I couldn't stop shaking. I know. Yeah, he called me and said, what do I do? I said, just sit there. Yeah. I said, what I do I got, do I do? I got to go look. I got to go get it. I said, just sit there. Ain't no big deal. Yep. Oh, it just was a big there. deal. Mm. Oh, man. What's a nut? Look, here's the thing on that. I'll just tell for everybody listening on the sit there and wait and all that. If you made a good shot. He's not going to get any more dead than he is right there. He's yeah. as dead as he's going to get he ain't going right there. Nowhere. And if you made a poor shot, then you need time. And look, hey, I ain't, I've made poor shots, and I'm sure I'll make some more in my life. I mean, I've screwed it up just as bad as anybody. But, uh, yeah, he, there's no reason to get into a hurry unless you're hunting like in South Carolina and it's 95 degrees when they open in August. Then you got to be a little sporty about getting down and getting him. But, you know. For the most part, he'll be fine. Just give him 30, 40 minutes. He'll be all right. Get your buddies. Get ready. Get your lights. Get your knives. All that good stuff. So I was ready to go chase after him. Yeah. you. Yeah. See, you yeah. had that Rambo in you, son. You oh, had yeah. to get Shaking going. like a yeah. leaf. <laughs> well, what you got? Who's Si, are you reading us a scripture today? or I saw no. you with your Bible when J. you walked D. in. Johnny D. Okay. Which one you want? I got two. Both oh, about I, snakes. About, about. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and read one of them. I, can, I can't take two. <laughs> Yeah, Let's go enough. with Genesis three fourteen and 15. Uh, mm. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will only strike his heel. Hey. <laughs> That was at the cross. And that is a fact, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. They, that's where snakes started. I don't that's like it. them. Hey. And that's how it rolls. Uh, that's how it rolls. We'll see y'all next week right here in the duck call room. We gone.